All right, all right, all right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to episode two of Free Grant Money Bullshit. This is just a quick follow-up to the nonsense I found in the first episode. Let's do this. So for those of you who didn't see episode one, first, shame on you. But here's a little background. A couple of months ago when I was researching scam artists that use the term free grant money, I came across a couple of unrelated websites using nearly identical language in their pitches. So I was curious to see if there are any other sites using the same text. So what I did was I started by searching on the term, you may be thinking, how can I get some of this free grant money? It was the, the shortest sentence used on both sites, and I thought that would give me the best chance to maximize the search results. And here's what I found. I only looked at the sites appearing on the first page <clears throat> excuse me, of Google search. I could have gone to pages two and three, but I wanted to keep this presentation as brief as possible. And I figured if I could find additional sites beyond the original two, uh, it, it kind of proves my point that there's a big problem out there with this scam. So the first two sites, grantshost.com and bizmove.com, were in episode one. The next three sites also contained the search sentence that I used. And all these sites were accessed on December 13th, 2017. And here's a little more detailed information about the sites and their owners. As you can see, a couple of them have been registered for almost 20 years, and all of their registrations are current through 2018. Sites number one and three, grantshose.com and grantsfinder.net, are likely owned and operated by the same people. They're registered in the same city. Their information was last updated on the same date. And the two sites have almost an identical look and feel about them. But the search term I used wasn't the only common thread between these sites. In fact, they all used the same language in their scam. And here are some screenshots from each of the five sites. I mean, <laughs> this is just amazing. And now I'm going to scroll through these quickly. If you need to stop and look at them a little more closely, just go ahead and pause the presentation. But I'm just going to roll through these because it's just it's too amazing to spend a lot of time on each of them. So here we go. I mean, look at this crap. You know, they mimic each other right down to the excessive use of exclamation points, the overcapitalization of words, and the incorrect use of proper nouns. I mean, this is just unbelievable. I mean, I would love to know, like, which site was patient zero. Or are all of these sites, I don't think I'd ever be able to figure it out, but, you know, are all of these sites owned by the same people and just registered in different places? Or did all of these sites steal from one and just, they thought, boy, this, this scam language is so good. I just need to copy it whole cloth and use it on my own site. I can't, I, I'll never figure that out, but it's um, very curious. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, that's about all I have. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate the time that you spent here. And I know I didn't provide any earth-shattering news with this presentation. My only goal was just to keep driving home the message that free grant money and free government money is just a bullshit term used by scam artists, and they'll go to any lengths to sucker people out of their money. And you might, <clears throat> excuse me, you might be wondering, you know, why I didn't post this information on my social media outlets. You know, for one, I need more content on my YouTube channel. And two, if I posted this, say, on my Facebook page or on my blog over at Medium, you know, I'd be inclined to provide links to the sites 
so that people could check out the scams for themselves. And I, I really don't want to do that because I don't want the scam sites to see, you know, from where they're receiving visitors. You know, if they see in their reports, <clears throat> excuse me again, that my Facebook page is sending them traffic, they might think that I'm somehow endorsing what they do. And I clearly don't. You know, I don't want to give them the satisfaction of more traffic through a direct link. So, you know, if you want to see what they're up to, the URLs for all of the sites are in slide number three. So you can just check them out at your convenience. And as I uncover more scams, I will post more videos. If you found this one helpful, just go ahead and give it a like. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when future presentations are uploaded. Thanks again. And until next time, have a good one.